guys, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Marianne, otherwise known as www.italianwifey on Instagram. So don't tell my husband I'm baking, but he's gonna find out when he comes home because I promised him I was totally gonna to be off my feet, um, leg up and icing. And the reason being is last Monday, a week ago Monday, is um, I had injured my uh, knee in Pilates and like a stunat, I kept on working out thinking it was just um, something muscular. And last Monday was walking Bernini. Um, I took a step, my knee exploded down to the ground, couldn't get back up. My leg was like a wet noodle. You guys, I have never felt that intense of a pain except giving natural childbirth to my son. It was excruciating and awful. So a trip to the ER, they thought I had a torn PCL and um, they put me in a leg brace and crutches and I wasn't to use the leg until I got to the ortho. Went to the ortho, it's not a torn PCL, it's a ruptured Baker's cyst. Who knew that could cause so much pain, but it did. Um, so I've been off my feet, um, listening to what the doctors say, but this weekend I ditched the crutches, no leg brace, and I'm up for small periods of time. He does want me to exercise the leg and I have been walking around the house. He doesn't want me to walk outside quite yet. Um, so I'm going to um, rest after this for sure. But another thing, if that wasn't bad enough, how my week started, on Tuesday, I got notice that I am no longer a WW ambassador. Sad day for me. So I've been a WW ambassador since, oh my gosh, I think 2017, the end of 2017 in December. And um, I just got word that the powers that be have decided that the US WW ambassadors are being disbanded. Um, they're dissolving that um, group and they're going to work on something different in the future, but we no longer represent the brand. Um, it was an honor and a privilege to have been chosen as the WW ambassador to represent the brand. I had such a blast um, doing missions, making recipes, getting all that cool swag, but most of all, making friends with my fellow ambassadors. We are family. And I really know that I'm going to make an effort to keep in touch with them and someday do a meetup for sure. But having said that, um, that was such a huge part of my identity. Um, I'm going to miss being an ambassador, but nothing is changing. Um, I hope you will continue to follow along with me on my journey. I had started um, filming YouTube and doing my Instagram to share recipes and food finds so that other people could be successful on their um, journey to health and wellness. So what I'm doing today is a brand new recipe. I haven't made this before. This is the first time I'm doing it. I'm calling it strawberry cinnamon muffins. I don't wanna make a muffin with bananas anymore. Well, I do. I love my skinny dark chocolate banana muffins, but for strawberry banana, I just don't wanna do that. So I kind of, looked at a bunch of recipes and put one together, a little bit here, a little bit there, and I came up with this recipe. It's going to be two smart points per muffin on the MyWW Plus green plan um, for 12 servings. So let me tell you what's in it and what you'll need. First of all, you're going to need two bowls, a larger and a smaller, because you're going to put dry ingredients and wet ingredients. You're going to separate them. You're going to need your measuring cups, and spoons. You're going to need a muffin tin, or I love my silicone cups from WW. You guys, I ordered three boxes. I love these so much. And they go right into the dishwasher and clean up easily. Um, don't forget to spray with butter cooking spray your muffin tin. I even spray my silicone cups. I don't know if everybody does that, but I do. So let me tell you about the ingredients that you'll need. Um, you're going to need some oatmeal, rolled oats, or instant, some all-purpose flour, and yes, you can use self-rising if that's all you have. You're going to need some yogurt, some almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, and you're going to need an egg, and then some of the basics, baking powder, baking soda, some salt, of course, cinnamon, because they're strawberry cinnamon muffins. And I'm using a uh, monk fruit sweetener um, instead of sugar. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm using that. And, of course, strawberry. 
strawberries. I'm using um, a cup of diced fresh strawberries. I'm sure you could use frozen too, um, but I would go ahead and dice them up. So I think that's about everything. I'm gonna turn the camera down to the counter so you can see how I put this together. Again, this is the first time I'm making this. I'm keeping my fingers crossed this, this turns out. Um, I just had such a taste for strawberry muffins. And it's so funny, my sister texted me this morning. She made strawberry muffins as well. We are so in tune sometimes, it's so funny. Um, so I'm gonna give this a go. Let's keep our fingers crossed that this one turns out in as, as good as my skinny dark chocolate banana muffins that everybody loves. Let's start with a large bowl and getting our dry ingredients. So I need a cup of flour. So I'm getting my measure out. First, I wanna stir this up to aerate it. Cup of flour. And then I'm going to need a cup of oatmeal. I'm using rolled oats. You can go ahead and use instant if you want. I don't think it makes a difference. I substitute instant and roll back and forth depending on what I have in my pantry. Okay, leveling that off. And a cup of oatmeal. And then I need baking powder and baking soda. Baking powder, I'm going to put two teaspoons in there because I like it to be light and fluffy. Oh boy, I'm almost out of baking powder. So there's one. Whoops, two. I'm gonna need to put that on my baking, on my shopping list. And then baking soda, I'm only gonna use a half a teaspoon of that. Going to put in a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And cinnamon, I'm going to put in three quarters of a teaspoon. This you don't have to measure out exactly. You know what? I think I'll go for a full teaspoon. Let's do that. I'm going to go for a full teaspoon. Make it real cinnamony. Cinnamony? Is that a word? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and whisk the dry ingredients together. Great, and then set that aside. So in the bowl, I have a cup of flour, a cup of oatmeal, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. Now in a separate bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and crack my egg, and I'm going to whisk that. Need it. Oh. oh, that isn't. I thought it was a shell, but nope. So I'm going to go ahead and beat the egg, and then I am going to add some wet ingredients. So egg, I'm going to do the milk, and I need a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. Let's get a half a cup in there. I need a quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. And you know what? I need to get a spatula. And I'm hobbling along because my knee hurts still. So I'm not too quick when I walk. So here is a quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. and put that right in with the wet ingredients. I'm substituting yogurt for like the fat and oil. You can do applesauce if you don't like a tangy yogurt taste, but you know what? The brand of, I think it's called, I don't even know how to pronounce it. This brand I find is less tangy, so I love it. Then 
then I need my monk fruit. And that is a half a cup. So let's see if I can do this right in the bag. There we go. Half a cup of monk fruit. So I'm going to whisk together the egg, the unsweetened almond milk, the yogurt, and the monk fruit. I'm gonna do it gingerly at first, so I'm not splashing it all over. I wanna see that yogurt dissolve and that sugar substitute dissolve as well. Okay, pretty darn good. Then I'm going to add my diced strawberries to the wet ingredients. And then I'm going to combine the strawberry mixture into the oat mixture just until everything is moistened. So into the bowl, I'm gonna scrape my little bowl out. And then I'm gingerly going to mix this in until it's moistened. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Let's hope these turn out since I've never done this before. Make sure when you mix, you fold from the bottom too to scrape up the bottom because sometimes if I don't do that, I see at the end there are some dry ingredients stuck to the bottom. That looks perfect. Okay, now I'm ready to go ahead and fill my muffin cups. I think I'm going to wash off this and use my quarter cup as um, a measurer to stick in or to fill my silicone cups. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready to start filling my silicone muffin cups. And I'm starting with a quarter cup because like I said, this is the first time I'm making it, um, this recipe. So I don't know, I'm assuming I'm going to get 12 muffins. That's the goal. I'm hoping. Okay, as you can see, I have a little left in the bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and where I see that some aren't as full as the others, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more to even it out. Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do? I make up a cinnamon sugar with sucrin brown sugar alternative and cinnamon. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle the tops with that. This is my cinnamon sugar mixture with sucrin brown sugar and cinnamon. And all I'm gonna do is just sprinkle the tops to give it a little sweetness and extra crunch don't have to do this. I'm not going to make it part of the recipe, but it's just a last minute call. I'm a sweet girl. I love sweets. Actually, I'm sweet and salty, but I thought this little touch would be perfect. Okay, these are ready to go ahead and bake. I went ahead and preheated my oven to 425 degrees. I'm going to put this in the oven for 18 minutes and I'll show you what they look like when they're baked. Okay, hobbling along. I am going to rest after this. Um, I am going to go ahead and cool the muffins in the silicone cups for now. I found that when I cool them for five to 10 minutes in the silicone mold, they pop right out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then once I pop them out, I'll put them on the wire rack and cool them completely. So here, let me show you what they look like real quick. Right out of the oven.
These come out so easy. If you haven't bought these yet, I highly recommend them. I absolutely love the silicone muffin cups. And they fold over for tartlets. So you can make little tartlets in them too. Okay, so this recipe definitely makes 12 servings. Regular size muffins. I'm gonna go ahead and let these cool completely before giving that a little test to see how I did. Still keeping my fingers crossed. Okay, my muffins have Cool. So this is the first taste test of my strawberry cinnamon muffins. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. That looks good. Let's give it a little taste test. Mmm. Know what? I think you can punch up the cinnamon bit. Strawberries make it moist. So good. Okay, that's it guys. I think it was a success. Strawberry cinnamon muffins makes 12. Two smart points on the MyWW Plus Green Plan. I'll go ahead and post the recipe at the end of this video and you can go ahead and pause the video take a screenshot to capture yeah I think this was definitely a winner um, I wanted something that wasn't strawberry banana and I was successful at that um, the only thing I would do differently is punch up the cinnamon um, there's a tad bit of cinnamon in there one teaspoon um, but I think I would like a bigger cinnamon flavor so guys thanks again for stopping by my kitchen I'm gonna go ahead and ice my leg and put it up and give it a rest. Um, I really enjoy this recipe. I hope that you will too. If you do make it, tag me at www.italianwifey on Instagram so I can see what yours looks like. Thanks so much, guys. Remember to be kind to one another. Stay well. Ciao.